How's it going today YouTube and welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. In today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Milwaukee M18 cordless two-speed grease gun kit. Part number 2646-21CT. I'm going to show you what comes in the kit, show you its features, tell you why I like it, and put it up against what I used to use in the 15 second grease pump off challenge. Anyway, here we go. So in the kit, of course, comes an 18 volt grease gun. They include an 18 and 12 volt dual charger. A one and a half amp hour M18 battery. And this handy shoulder carrying strap, as well as the soft case. As you can see, I've already used this a fair bit. Wanted to put it through its paces so I can give you guys an educated opinion on what I think about it. So I'll start off running through some of the specs. It's a 10,000 PSI unit. It's got a four foot, 48 inch grease line on it. And as I told you earlier, it's two speeds. So the first speed is high volume, which does 10 ounces a minute at a low pressure of 5,000 PSI. And the second speed is low volume, does three and a half ounces a minute, but high pressure at 10,000 PSI. So let's stick a battery on and I'll show you the features of it. First feature is this handy trigger lock. You know, if you're going through a larger amount of grease, you just pull the trigger, set the lock, and let it go. Or even uh, you can set it, lock it in the off position. That way if it's uh, in transit and something hits the trigger, you're not going to fill your case full of grease. Second feature is it's got this LED light. So if you're working underneath the dark trailer and don't have a flashlight or anything with you, you can press that and it's going to light up your workspace somewhat. Third feature this has got a grease counter. As you can see, you can set it to 50 pumps all the way down to one, or even have it set to on. So that way it'll pump as long as you hold the trigger. So if you're doing repetitive jobs that require a metered amount of grease, you can set it to whatever you want. Make sure it's greased right the first time. The fourth feature is its two speed motor. You can select between speed one which is the low volume, high pressure, and speed two, which is the high volume and low pressure. So this is a low speed, high pressure setting. You just flip the switch to two, which is the high volume, low pressure. You can hear the difference. Goes through quite a bit more grease. The fifth feature is the shoulder strap, so I've got in a case you can hook up here and here. That way you don't have to keep it in your hands, you can just put it over your shoulder and walk the lot and get done whatever you have to get done. The sixth feature is just the base. That way, you know, your hands are greasy, the unit's greasy, you don't have to be laying it in the dirt, so the dirt's not going to stick to it, you can keep it upright, grease whatever you're working on, wipe it off, and you're good to go. The seventh feature, which I find very handy, is if you pull the plunger out, it's got markings and it'll show you approximately how much grease you have left. So when the plunger's up to this point, you got a quarter tube left, half a tube, three quarters of a tube, and then the last notch is a full tube, which makes it handy. So you don't want to be crawling underneath the trailer and not knowing how much grease you have left. Nothing more frustrating getting underneath there, greasing a couple nipples and you're running out of grease. So let's get on with this grease pumping challenge. I'm gonna put the Milwaukee M18 up against the Lincoln 12 volt, as well as the old fashioned Lincoln pneumatic grease gun. We're gonna see which one can pump the most grease in 15 seconds. Who do you think is gonna win? So how much grease can grease guns pump if grease guns can't pump grease? Let's find out. 
Okay, first up is the old school Lincoln pneumatic grease gun. So you're going to press the start button, time 15 seconds, and then hit the trigger for 15, and we'll compare the piles of grease at the end. Here we go. That's 15. And next, the Lincoln 12 volt cordless grease gun. Let's see what it's got. And of course, I run out of grease. Okay, and next up, we got the Lincoln. 12 volt cordless grease gun. Let's see how well this does. Press start. Start pumping. That's 15. So since the Milwaukee grease gun's got two speeds, I'm going to do a fair comparison and I'm going to do low and high. So let's start with low. Press start. Well, that's 15. So finally, I'll flip the switch to two. Start the clock, and you'll see how much grease this high speed setting will pump. That's 15 seconds. Well, which one do you think is the winner? Let's compare the four and find out. Well, it was quite obvious we had two different classes. Let's start with the Lincoln 12 volt versus Milwaukee M18 on the low setting. Volume wise, look almost identical. Now if you move over to the Lincoln Air versus the Milwaukee M18 in high speed, again, they look very, very similar. Piles are roughly the same size. You'd almost have to get a little scale and weigh the difference. I know it's not technical, but the Lincoln Air feels a little bit heavier than the Milwaukee on high speed. Not by much, but like I said, if I had to choose a, what one won, it'd be the Lincoln Air. But if you ask me, the big problem with the Lincoln Air is the fact that you gotta drag around an airline. If you're mobile, or even going a far distance or out in a parking lot, then the cordless grease gun is definitely what you wanted to go with. Now, a couple minor features that are actually quite handy. Is if you get air in the system and you got to bleed it out, it's actually quite easy. You just press that button and pump it out. And also, when you go to store it, you can. Push it in there, lock the spring in there, and it's good and secure. Then you can just wrap the rest of the hose up in the case, and you're on your way. Really, the only thing I find that I don't like about this kit is the fact it came with a soft case. You know, you're carrying a grease gun around, it's going to get greasy, it's going to soak up in the fabric, it's going to be hard to keep it clean. You know, not that being a mechanic is a beauty contest, but a wise man once told me, Shaner, just because it's a grease gun, doesn't mean it has to be covered in it. Now I know comparing an 18 volt tool to a 12 volt tool is already a little stacked in favor of the 18 volt. But I only have access to the 18 volt grease gun. So maybe in the future if I get my hands on an M12 grease gun, I'll put these two head to head. What do you guys think? 
What other cordless grease guns have everybody else used? Different brands? How do they stack up to the Milwaukee M18? Let me know what you think in the comments section. I just want to end this video by thanking one of my new subscribers, Kendon Connor. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate all my subscribers. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Hit that like button and subscribe. I got more videos coming. Anyway, have a good night everybody and thanks for watching.